Hi, this is uh, Mark from Hunting Bond and today I'm here with um, Mr. William Hunt from the College of Arms. Came across a letter from uh, the Bruder Gumbold, solicitors in Switzerland, to a certain Count Balthazar de Blochamp. Your house was involved in the filming process in this way that they gave advisory to how to be correct and precise with the arms. Yes, and they, were, they wanted to film it all here mm -hmm. and then they found that the, the distances were was such that they couldn't manage to do the filming they wanted. And so when you look at the film, Bond crossing the, um, the courtyard out there is genuine, but they had to reconstruct the El Marshal's Court in the record room uh, in the studio. So let's take a look at the Herald. What does it tell us? Arms of Sir Thomas Bond, Baronet of Peckham, died 1734. Argent on a chevron sable, three besants. Good motto, eh? The world is not enough. Taking this book, this is extinct and dormant baronetcies, and there we have those same arms. Uh, and I've checked with the records, it is a white background with three gold, they're called besants, on a, on a black chevron. So the arms, um, Ian Productions used for filming in, on Her Majesty's Secret mm. Service are not made up fictionist arms, no. but actually get back on the on a real bond uh, yes. lineage. Yes. Okay. And now in contrast, um, the arm of Bleu Champ. Um, it's blue because of Bleufeld, yes. Bleu Champ. Yeah. Bleu Champ. Mm -hmm. And what does the boar tell us? I think it's just a fierce creature and, and it has allusions to being a swine, which is a not very nice expression. So. In general, you could say they, they really tried to have arms which establish um, a classical English character, bold and brave, yeah. for Bond on the one hand, yeah. and then this... A, a double-crossing swine for Blofeld <laughs> on the other hand. Such, such simple. Take more than cutting off your earlobes, Blofeld, to turn you into a count. I may yet surprise you. <laughs>